Hi guys, how are you all? I am Asit Sikh from Icoing Design and we will continue our Flutter Wheels series. And in this video, we are going through the process of creating a screen, then editing it, doing some changes, then download the whole screen, view the code and also download the whole project. And I will also show you how to give a feedback to us about Flutter Wheels or anything you want. So now let's start with the tutorial. We will simply create a screen and I will take a blank screen to start empty and first i will take a widget of column and drop it then i will do some changing by locking the padding options and i will give it a 16 then axis alignment to the center then i will add a text i will change it to logging as we are creating a logging page then i will change the size and font bold then we will add a text field where you can add the email id i will first just change the alignment to the side and I will change the padding to I am not locking it as I don't want to seem for all then I will uh, give the initial value to it it's just an example mail id then we will give a label to it it's the email then we will give the border properties and we also many other options that you can change according to your need I will just add another text field and I will just give it a random value as the password I will label it as password and I will just uh, made it hidden as a password you can do it for you or anything you want now I will just add a button and give the padding to it and I will change the height and width and I will also change the color and I will also change the radius of the button which makes it look good and I will also change the font property that is the size and color of the text and you can see it's simply looking good it's a simple design that I have made to make you guys understand now let's see the preview of this screen now we saw this single screen preview now we'll move to the preview of all the screen you can just simply click on it you can see that it is added our login screen has been added into the project now we'll move to the source code of the screen you can simply say this is the code that we have for the screen we have you can simply zoom and zoom out the screen then we have download option for the specific screen you can simply download a screen from it uh, and you can see this is what you get now let's just get back out and you can see we have other options available on the right hand side that is firstly you can edit it to anything you want and I'm just adding it one and and the next option that you have is the clone is the same cloning but it's for the screen you can simply uh, copy this whole screen and change the name of it and save it and you will get it in your project then you know what is delete button you can simply delete the whole screen from your project we have already seen how to download a single screen but now we will see how to download the whole project from Flutterwiz. So simply we have the download option on the top of the Flutterwiz on the right hand side. You can see that option here and you can just click on it and zip it out and you can use it however you want in your project. It was so simple to download and get your code for the UI and you can change and do whatever you want with it. Now let's just move to the feedback. How can you give us the feedback about Flutterwiz? So there is an option between the new screen and download option on the top. So simply clicking on that button, you will get this pop up where you have three options to give the feedback. That is first for the bug report or you can simply ask for the future features and then also a general feedback option. You can give all of them or one of them, however, or whatever you want and just write it down below and click on submit button and we will make sure to get back to you as soon as possible for us guys so this is i will end this video you saw how easy it was to create a screen and edit it and clone it and whatever features that we saw you can also download a single screen or the whole project and use it however you like and this is all just free for you guys and you can also get the feedback option that's also for free so just don't forget to use the flutter wish for your next project until then like this video subscribe to my channel click the bell icon and share this with your friends and family you can also go and follow us on our social media accounts and you can also read the blogs that we have about the Flutterwiz or any other project in the iconic design. So till then, hasta la vista.